dolls, it's baby doll James. So this is my look I came up so far with, you know. Just a lot of color, fun, vibrant colors. Cause you know I just love color. So this is the look I came up with. And um we're gonna be using neon orange, but the first thing I put down is a little bit of a pair of disco down first. Um, so that the neon orange adhere to it a little bit better because it seemed like when you put uh, shimmering eyeshadow down the um, the matte pigment seems to like adhere better so you put that down first and then you put the neon orange on top of it you just pat it down that's all you do just pat it You're gonna have a little fallout, that's okay. Because you have your makeup wipes on standby. So, that's what you're doing, just patting it down. It's okay, be a little messy. Because we're gonna go through with our 217 and blend it out. So, that's what I've done here on this side. Let me just brighten this up a little bit more. I'm just going to make that look a little bit more vibrant. Okay. So once you have done that, it's going to look a little crazy looking. You take your um, 217 brush. What did I do with my 217? Oh. Well, we'll just use this one. It don't matter. And just blend out the rough edges first. You know, kind of keep it in check a little bit. Just clean it up. That's all you do. Okay, you just concentrate most of the orange down there. Then you take your 217 brush. Just got some everything in it. Just got the colors that I've been using. And you take your Swiss chocolate, my favorite color, which you will see in my other tutorial about my fade tan. Take that and just blend it up. Just taking it and we're just going through. And wherever you see like the orange fading down, just take your brush and you just pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it. I tend to pat and roll for some reason. I don't know why, but that's why sometimes I put my eyeshadow on pat and roll. And then you blend it that way. Well, that's how it's looking so far. Then go in with your teal color. Oh, let's see, where's my teal? You go in with your teal pigment, pigment by MAC. <coughs> Tap off the excess. And concentrate that in your V. that way okay so you do that and then take a little bit of um oh, yeah, I forgot take a little bit of fix plus Spray your brush with the Fix Plus, dip back into that teal a little bit, and put that in the crease right here, like on the ends, so darken it up and bring it over slightly so you can get like this metallic-y tint. 
still effect to it. So once you've done that, you take your 226 brush and you're going to brule. I'm not 226 brush. You're going to go into brule or just orb. I think it's orb. No, it's brule. Go into your brule. And you put that in your brow highlight up here. Like so. And once you're done that there, see how it's looking? I'm going to take your <coughs> purple, purple pen out here, right here. I'm going to take your purple, I don't know, your cream D violet. Take your cream violet and you put it right there between between a uh, brulee and teal pigment. Just work on both ends together that way. I don't know why. This is my funny eyebrow. This is my good eyebrow. So after you've done that, then you concentrate on the bottom half of your eyelid and you take your NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and you line. to smooth things up. Then you take your pencil brush and your yellow which is chrome yellow by MAC. Uh, that's the wrong one. Chrome yellow by MAC you use. It's going to be the right one. Yes, it's the right one. Dip that into the chrome yellow. Get it onto your 219 brush. I met and just just line it mm -mm -mm. Tree Jesus Take your 217 and that teal. Oh, I feel like I got some of my eyeshadow. Took 217 and the teal. Let's see here. I'm going like palette by palette. You can take your teal here. And you put that on the up, on the bottom side, right there, like that. And then you're going to take a little bit of Bang On Blue and Nehru together. And just kind of darken that here, V, with this Nehru here. I'm not going to make it too dark, but just dark enough to give it some depth. You know? Why nothing too crazy. Ugh. Then you're going to take a little bit of nylon. And put that in your teared up area. I'm going to do it with that. Take a little bit of nylon. I'm going to put it right here. Over here, 
like that. No, just to brighten it up. So it'll be so like dark or whatever. Then you're gonna take your 266 brush, which is your angle brush, and that um right now I'm using wet and wild cream liner. So we can actually see how this works. Out. I used it earlier. Get some more of that black liner. I got the moves like Jagger. I got the moves. Sorry, I was saying my song. Take your angle brush and just draw your line. And to get that point, I always flip my brush the opposite way to give me that sharp point. So 